Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be seeing how you can use ticker tape with Alice Blue. So the first thing to do when you want to access the ticker tape is go to alicebluonline.com and select the trade store option in the top menu section. And here we have the trade store that is Alice Blue's product page. So we have Alice Blue's ticker tape here. So we can select the try now button. Now this will lead you to the ticker tapes welcome page. As you can see, this gives you some idea of what ticker tape is. So this is basically a screener and it's a discovery tool for stocks. So as it's given here, the core idea was to provide a way for investors to easily filter stocks based on different criteria. So this ticker tape is uh, under small case, which is also a partner with Alice Blue. So as they are partners with Alice Blue, you can get this at a very good price. You can select the checkout for ticker tape green button here. It will show you the login page. And here is the, suppose, the brokers option. So here you can select the Alice Blue broker and login. So you'll have to log in using your Alice Blue credentials. You'll have to enter in your login ID and password, which you use for your ant web also. So as you can see, this has already automatically logged in. So once you log in, this is the first screen that you can see. This is the basic screen, which will appear. And let's look at what all are there. So as we can see here, we have some options in the top. We have the screener, we have the market mood index, and then there's the learning option. Then we have the new screen. We are already in the new screen, so we won't be clicking this. Now let's see all the all screens. So we have the saved screen. I've created one sample here, which we will look into. We also have other basic screens. So these are completely free. And here are some of the premium screens, which you'll have to have, which you can access if you have a paid subscription. So let's select see all, and as you, you will, can look at it. So. First, let's look at a screen here so you can understand all of the filters and options. So when you apply new screen on the page, you have the options of companies and the subsectors, the market capitalization, the closing price and the PE ratio. So this is the basic screen which will appear. Now on top of this, you can customize this for finding stocks which will uh, fit into your trading strategy. This is for this is best for long term investment. You can use this also for short term investments. We'll look into this now. Look at the long term investment first. So as you can see here, we have it based on the market capitalization in the left here. We have all of the filters. So let's select. We have options of small cap. And as you can see here, this goes from zero to 5000 crore rupees. And the mid cap here, we have 5,000 to 20,000 crore rupees. And then the large cap, which is 20,000 crore rupees and above. Now let's just leave it at the large cap as that gives us access to a certain like 133 results as we can see here. Now we can filter this based on closing price or the PE ratio. Now let's change this PE ratio to zero. Now, if you don't want zero and you prefer a higher PE ratio, you can just drag the slider here and you can bring it to the range that you prefer. Let's just leave it at zero for now. So with the PE ratio, let's add another filter. So we have so many filters which we can access. So first we have, let's look at the price and volume. You can filter this based on the closing price from the day of the stock last traded. Then we have the one day return. So this is the percentage change in the company stock price over the previous day. And in this way, we can filter it using all of these options. Now let's look at um, one year return versus the Nifty. So this is the percentage change in the company stock price minus the percentage change in the Nifty over the previous 52 weeks. And let's look at some good stocks. So this is percentage away from 52 week low. 
let's look at this this might be useful for finding stocks which are um, good which are at a cheap price but are also um, pretty good performance giving stocks we can also look at the daily volume you can use this to trade on especially the liquid stocks now let's look at some other filters here we have profitability so you can use filters based on the company's profitability here we have return on equity you can select that or the net profit margin the return on assets the return on investment otherwise you can also give the five-year average return on investment as this will give you an idea of how the stock will perform for the long term and you can use that also as a filter let's look at the financial ratios you can use any of these financial ratios if you have any doubt on what these specific financial ratios or these filters are based on as you can see here this once you have when you hover the my, uh, mouse over that specific uh, filter it gives you an explanation of what it is so here we have the current ratio which is the total current assets divided by total current liabilities and similarly you can just hover over each option and understand what it is about get a basic idea and here we have some of the premium features also as you can see with the lock screen lock option here this these are premium filters which you can only access once you activate the pre, uh, ticker tape pro option now let's look at uh, one year historical revenue growth five year revenue growth so let's take five year historical EBITDA growth so this way we can see if the company has seen EBITDA growth over the last year so this is the annual compounded growth rate of the EBITDA over the last five years so this will give you an idea of how the company has performed in the past five years next let's look at valuation in valuation we have PE ratio which is free PB ratio which is free so this is the book value dividend yield you can separate it uh, filter it based on dividend yield if you if that is an important factor next we have the enterprise value divided by the EBITDA for the last fiscal the EV EBITDA ratio you have all of these options now here we have broker rating so this is the percentage buy of recos this is some of analysts having a strong buy or the buy rating divided by the total number of analysts then there's the percentage upside the target price estimate for the stock divided by the close price minus one with the ticker tape pro you'll have access to all of these filters these premium features now we have the ownership you can filter it based on the ownership the, we have the ticker tape special these are filters specifically brought in built in by the ticker tape uh, analysts and uh, experts themselves as you can see they have features uh, filters like value momentum rank price momentum rank earnings quality price to intrinsic value and fundamental score now for day traders you can use this futures and options filters so this gives you future uh, fair value filter future close price lot size future open interest one day change in future oi and so on you can filter the stocks based on all of these now let's we have the technical indicators so using these technical indicators you can use to filter out stocks which are currently performing well in the market and how well they are performing and using that you can filter out stocks to day trade in then we have the income statement which is again useful for fundamental analysis and long-term investments as this will give you based on the annual report of the company and with that the company performance which is great for long-term investment analysis again this is the balance sheet and the cash flow which is also fundamental analysis and here we have your filter so you can create custom filters by using um, these specific values so you can verify your ch uh, to check your filters value for reliance industries infosys and so on now let's look at some examples so you can create filters such as one divided by net profit margin into 
the return on assets so as you can see here immediately after you type in your create your own filter you have some verification to see if the value is working or not you can select the verify option and it will show you some more example if you click click here again you have 1m one month average volume divided by the three month average volume again so if you'd like to create your own filters you can you have the option of creating that also so as we can see we have given some filters here you can customize these filters to give you certain values by using the slider option to give you the specific range which you are feeling comfortable in if you feel like a certain range is too risky and too good to be true or any such issues you can filter those out so let's just keep this basic for looking at uh, companies that are performing in giving positive performance so this will narrow down the results considerably return on equity this is clearly very rare then the five year average ROI and we even have the five year historic EBITDA growth we can leave that if you want as you can see this has been narrowed down to 33 results and in this 33 results you can uh, adjust it also so we have it right now being arranged according to the market capitalization so let's arrange it based on one year return versus the nifty so if you select here as you can see this has arranged itself from the lowest to the highest number values so if we click it again we have we can see the highest values in the one year return versus nifty and it goes lower and lower so this is the descending order as you can see in this specific uh, filter we have the info edge as with the highest value now let's try based on return on equity with the highest being procter and gamble hygiene and health followed by nestle marico gillette mostly fmcg companies now let's look at the five year average return on investment so again, we have Marico, Procter & Gamble, Larson & Tubro, Infotech, and so on. In this way, you can filter out and select criteria and categories which are suitable for your trading experience and trading strategy. This is for long-term investment, and you can use apply the similar filters or the specific technical analysis filters, and you can filter out stocks which are currently performing well now and apply it to your trading strategy so this is the screen and if you want to prefer like if this is the setup you prefer and you want to save the screen as it is in the top here we have the save option you can save the screen as um, and give it a description so you can understand In this way you have saved this screen and then once you save it you, you can select the all screen option and as you can see the test screen appears in the saved screens side so you can toggle between the screens by selecting here and switching between them next let's look at some basic screens these are pre-made screens uh, created by ticker tape themselves so let's see the money mentors so these are the pre basic screens which have been pre-made by them so you can select the deals to steal so here we have filters such as PE ratio specifically given 0 to 15 the PB ratio being 0 to 2 the dividend yield being 2 to 76.2 
then we have the PS ratio, the five year historic EPS growth, earnings per share growth. That is from 10 to 161.07. So these are the five filters that have been applied. And based on these filters, we have these companies. So let's look at the, according to the PE ratio. We have torrent power giving the highest followed by precision wires, first source solutions and so on. Next, let's look at five year historical EPS growth. This, so this is good. Reliance Capital has apparently been giving 10.51% growth. However, because of the recent issues, I don't know how that will be. So while you're using these screeners, always be aware that you should keep an eye on the company's recent news activities because those could have an effect on the stock performance. So as we can see, HEG here is the highest with the five year historical earnings per share growth. Next, let's look at some of the premium screens. We may not be able to open them as this is the free version. You can scroll down here and see all of these options. You can see what up filters have been applied. And you can apply these and create your own uh, personal screen also. Now let's look at mm, the market mode index. Once you select that, it will open up in a new uh, tab as you can see here. So this is the market mode index. So this gives you this specific compass like image. And as we can see, the current market mode index is in the greed zone, which suggests that the investors are acting greedy in the market, but the action to be taken depends on the MMI trajectory. So you can, let's look at all the other zones. Extreme greed suggests investors should avoid opening fresh positions as markets are overbought and likely to turn downwards. Next, let's look at the fear zone. This suggests that the investors are fearful in the market, but action to be taken depends on the MMI trajectory. So I guess these are the mid zones, these two, and these two are the extremes. So this is extreme fear, high extreme fear. Suggests a good time to open fresh positions as the markets are likely to be oversold and might turn upwards. So this was updated one hour ago. Next, let's look at the MMI is in the green zone, greed zone. So you can see how to read the zones by selecting this see all zones option and this will give you an table like structure here with explanation. Now let's look at the change in MMI versus the Nifty. The greed was in 65.91% last week and now it's at 59.3936. The Nifty has apparently given a 0.96% negative return since last month. It's turned from extreme fear to greed and the Nifty has given 5.56% positive return. Since yesterday, the value has increased from 55.49 to 59.36 with 0.49% negative return from Nifty. So if you use Ticker Tape Pro, you can unlock the full history and get an idea of how the market has been trending based on the MMI versus the Nifty. You can also track MMI on TV with this channel. Now let's see how, what is given here. So as you can see, they have the MMI regular, rigorously tested and it is 93.75% accurate, which is historically a very high accuracy. So if we click here to learn more about the three month market prediction with market mood index. So market mode index is the MMI. So this you can use to predict the nifty returns in the three months following the extreme fear zones. Once you click the learn more here, it opens in a new tab. 
with a blog article explaining the entire test, the results and explanations of how the market has performed. Now, let's. you can also see how the MMI was built. The six important factors that were taken into consideration, you can select the down arrow option here and read more about each of these six factors to get an understanding of how this picture has been formed and how they have received come to this conclusion that the market is currently in the greed position, greed zone. Now let's look at MMI, let's look at the learn option here in the ticker tape. Now as you can see this is for learning about the stock market and investing. So you can use this to learn more. Let's select this module, investing in portfolios. So this opens in a new tab, giving you a, an article here, which you can read and explaining all about portfolios and the financial instruments considered here. And these are given in modules, which are basically like the separate chapters and one by one you can read and learn more and more about portfolio investing which is and the diversity you can pick your topics as they are given here we have three topics in the front page itself which you can use for learning more and gaining more knowledge even if you already have idea uh, it's always best to stay updated and having different points of views will help you um, get a broader understanding of the market Let's, if you are basically very new to the market, you can select the new to investing option here. You can understand the basics of investing, small case and the portfolio understanding. You can learn it better. So this here is the intro to macroeconomics and you can select different chapters by clicking these arrow options. So this is elementary economics. If you click this option here, it will go to st stock market investing and learn all about that and you can switch to chapters if you have specific doubts in those specific topics next chapter here the module here is investing in portfolios then we have evaluating stocks so you can optimize this also to learn specifically on how you can apply all of your stock market and investing knowledge in to the uh, small case portfolio investment and how you can use it with ticker tape. So this is highly specified and it gives you an idea of how well and you can specialize the tools are and how you can optimize it for your trading style. So that is ticker tape. Now let's look at some more Now let's look at the pricing and for the ticker tape. So the pricing option is here in the account section. This You can click this option here. You can select the become a member, the settings and all of those. So here with the ticker tape pro. So this is pro membership brings exclusive data for your great investment ideas faster. So compare with ticker tape basic this is the free version which gives you access to 70 filters you can save up to three screens you have three custom filters you can create you can you can't um, export the data there won't be premium screens or access to mmi but if you get the ticker tape pro which is only 118 rupees per month you can have access to all 130 filters and you can save unlimited number of screens so you can specify and uh, create screens custom based on your preference and trading style for each specific segment or um, type of investing or daily day trading and so on. Next, we have the export data as spreadsheet option. You can all have access to all of the premium ideas. So what are premium ideas? So these are the ready-made screens that take advantage of premium filters to give you interesting portfolio ideas. Then you have access to the MMI, that is your, the market mood index. You can time your trades and investments better 
by understanding how the market is, uh, what mood the market is in and what zone it is. So you can, so that you can make sure that you get a good deal on your investments. So here we have the different uh, subscription plan options. So it's, as you can see for one month, it's 118 rupees for three months. It's generally 354, but with the discount, you can get it for 336. For six months, it's 637, but with the discount of 10%, you can see here the difference. And for one year, it is 1416, which in itself is very cheap. If you are an investor and you know that these services are generally costly, but as you can see, this is generally 100 and 1416 rupees. And with this discount of 20%, you can get it for 1133. So here we also have some of the testimonials by individual investors, value investors, buy and hold investors, and so on. You can clear all of your doubts here. The base frequently asked questions. You can also start your free trial, which is for 14 days. So you can start the free trial, use it for 14 days. And then if you are very satisfied with it, then you can use the subscription plan. So this is definitely a win-win situation for everybody. So thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to create a DMAT account with Alice Blue, click the link in the description and fill out your details.